Well, developing now, protesters are gathering once again a day after demonstrations crippled the Bay Area from the Golden Gate Bridge to 880 in Oakland. This time, however, protesters are focused on Sunnyvale. That's where NBC Bay Area's Chris Sanchez joins us this morning. And Chris's protest is centered on Google. It is centered on Google. It seems to be less about the disruption of traffic like we've seen over the last couple of days and more focused on the Google Cloud Nimbus project, which the employees say is contributing to the death toll in Gaza and in Israel. Take a look here. You see a handful of employees gathered there and they are going to be protesting. They are part of the No Tech for Apartheid campaign. They are protesting that $1.2 billion contract they say was just reached with the Israel Israeli government and mili Israeli military and Google. Now, if you look from a Sky Ranger above, you'll see that this is a relatively small protest here in Sunnyvale at the Google Cloud headquarters, but there's another similar one happening in Chelsea in New York City and also at the Google campus in Seattle. Now, we are not expecting the level of disruption we saw yesterday around the Bay Area when protesters blocked the Golden Gate Bridge for hours with that goal of drawing attention to the U.S. government's financial assistance. Israel in the war against Hamas and the civilian casualties among the people of Gaza. Uh, if you're wondering why it takes so long to remove protesters in some of these situations, there's video here from the CHP of that delicate work of using jackhammers and welding machinery and heavy duty saws to remove the protesters without hurting them. This happened on 880 in Oakland as well as the Golden Gate Bridge. Uh, between these two protests, as of last check, about 40 people were arrested. Some will be prosecuted by the San Francisco DA's office, some by the Alameda County DA's office. The initial charges are conspiracy to commit a crime and unlawful assembly. In a prior Bay Area shutdown, just to give you some perspective, we saw many of the protesters who were arrested ultimately convicted of misdemeanors and infractions punishable by community service and fines rather than more serious penalties. Now, we talked with the legal analyst who says that part of the problem is that California laws have not come up with the pace of what's happening right now. She told us that other states make it criminal to protest by blocking traffic. California does not do that. We also spoke with a young woman who is about two years into her very first job out of college working on the Nimbus project here. We talked with her out here about her protest against her employer and pointed out that she might lose her job over this. She says she had to do something. There's no like 100% way to be prepared for losing your job. I would not like to lose my job. Um, I did not plan to lose my job right out of college. Um, and, but I think that there, it is impossible for me to continue coming into work every week uh, without acknowledging and loudly condemning uh, Project Nimbus and any support for the Israeli government. Now, in Fremont near the Tesla plant, officers were able to keep the demonstration off the freeway, though they did deploy pepper balls. Uh, going back to that young woman who we spoke with, she said that she's been politically active before, but this is the most politically active she's been because she just couldn't take it anymore uh, to stand by and do nothing. Um, we don't know what is going to happen with her employment at this point. Uh, she does say that some of her employees or fellow employees have been retaliated against and have been victimized by their employer, by other colleagues, pointed out, singled out for their position on the war between Israel and Hamas. Uh, she says that some of them have been doxxed with their name and their personal information put up on the internet so people could then target them. So we don't know what's going to come of this uh, protest, but we do know it likely won't impact you unless you're driving around this area, and even then, not likely. However, they are trying to send a very strong message to Google that Bay Area Tech shouldn't be involved in something like this. In Sunnyvale, Chris Sanchez, Today in the Bay.